when Congressman Jim McDermott of Washington State got his turn, he challenged some of those accounts and their motives. None of your organizations were kept from organizing or silenced. If you didn't come in and ask for this tax break, you would have never had a question asked of you. And I get the feeling that many of you and my Republican colleagues just don't believe or you believe you should be free from political targeting, but that you should be from free from any scrutiny at all. Joining me now, Washington Democratic Congressman Jim McDermott. Congressman, thank you for coming on. Uh, so we watched that with great interest yesterday and had a discussion about it and they questioned whether you were blaming the victim, as Paul Ryan suggested moments after you concluded your remarks. Do you understand that criticism? Yeah, anybody who would make that criticism didn't listen to my whole speech. I spent uh, five minutes talking and you're talking about one line. The fact was I said five times that the questions that they were asked were egregious, they were out of bounds, they shouldn't have been asked, and I said that over and over again very clearly. But what I was trying to do was to say this process of asking for a tax exemption is one that once you ask for one, you open yourself up to being questioned. And I think that we want the questions to be on both sides. The only group that lost that was told they couldn't have an exemption was a liberal group yeah, but called it's, Merge but, America. But you know that many, many conservative groups, hundreds of them, were kept waiting with no answers for months and months they, and actually they, years but at they a time. Were never, they were de never denied but, their but why exemption. But what, what who cares? Who cares? If, well, you're, if you're stuck for three years well, with no answer, isn't that the same as an effective operate. denial? Wait a minute. Ms. Kelly, they can still operate. They can still collect money. They can still put out advertisements. They can use their First Amendment rights. Nobody at the IRS stopped them from doing that. But Congressman McDermott, was, that ignores the reality of the testimony you heard. Jim Kukugi talked about how they lost a $30,000 donation because a lot of people don't want to donate to groups that haven't received that stamp of approval in officially becoming a 501c4. That was not under testimony under oath. I don't know. He, has you no, he didn't offer any proof. He didn't offer any proof. So he was, he he was lying? Is this your answer to that? No, that they, anybody no, who claims no. that they Wait lost donations, are, they're Ms. misleading? Kelly, you are putting words in my mouth. I'm, no, I'm asking that. you. I'm asking you. You. Are, you are putting words in my mouth. Stop it. I, I'm not, sir. I I'm asking you whether you are I rejecting said, that testimonial as not true. I am saying people can say anything, and they do say in testimony before committees.